If you struggle with balance or dizziness issues after a concussion, you'll likely get the label, you'll likely get the title of a vestibular type concussion or a vestibular profile for your concussion. But the kicker is, is that those balance and dizziness issues are not always related to a vestibular deficit. <sighs> Um, so this should actually be obvious, but it's shown in some new research um, that this is actually the case in concussion, is that we've got multiple different types of balance deficits. Um, but why should it be obvious that this is possible? Well, because in order to balance, you've got your visual system that sees where you are. You've got your vestibular system, which is the system in your inner ear that has fluid and detects head motion. Um, and that kind of feels where you are to keep your posture upright, the horizon level, and keep your eyes on a target so the world doesn't look like the Blair Witch Project. And then you've also got your proprioception. You've got your muscles, your joints, your connective tissue that kind of feel where your body is in space. And you have that body awareness mixed with this kind of spatial awareness mixed with this visual system to feel where you are so that you can balance, right? And so we've got these three systems that play into balance. Why wouldn't it make sense that balance issues are not always vestibular? Um, so what we did is we took, uh, we, the research community, took 758 military members with a history of concussion, and then we took 172 individuals with no lifetime history of concussion. And we asked the question, do these folks with a history of concussion have worse balance than those without concussion? And if they do have worse balance, is it always due to a vestibular deficit? And here's what we found, is uh, no. We've got that visual system that can have a visual deficit impairing your balance. We've got a vestibular system that can impair your balance. And we've got a proprioceptive system that when deficient can impair your balance. And we can even have a, a soup, a mix of, of all of those um, kind of messing up your balance. So how would you know if this is affecting you? Uh, it turns out that this isn't really new to anyone who's been doing vestibular therapy or physical therapy for balance or concussion specialists working with folks one-on-one -on -one, uh, because we know there are different ways to impair your balance. And so there's this test called the Modified Test of Clinical Sensory Integration and Balance. It's a, it's a mouthful, um, but we essentially put you on a force plate. It's a 10-minute test. It's this standing test. You stand on a force plate, hands on the hips, eyes open, eyes closed. And then we'll throw a foam pad under you. You stand on there, eyes open eyes closed. And by looking at those different conditions, we can actually tease out, is it a visual issue? Is it a vestibular issue? Is it a proprioceptive issue? Is it two of those? Is it all three of those? And then by doing that, we can create some rehab. So you can see here, here's an example of a gal that any condition where her eyes were open. So when we were testing her kind of just baseline, firm surface, eyes open, all systems go, she actually performed pretty poorly. But when we closed her eyes on that firm surface, she performed better. Then I put her on a foam pad. She stands there with her eyes open, biasing that visual system, um, and she performs poorly. And then we put her on that foam pad with her eyes closed, and she actually performs better, um, which is interesting. So anytime this girl had her eyes open, her balance was actually worse. That seems kind of problematic if you want to move through the world, right? Uh, so we actually prescribed her some psychotic exercises, some different visual exercises, and you can see here, this was actually over four weeks later. Um, we got her kind of back to feeling better and, and balancing better by being able to tease out which system that was. Um, so really all this is to say is if you have balance or dizziness issues after concussion, it's not always vestibular. It's not even always what we just talked about. It could be related to an anemia. It could be related to an autonomic dysregulation like POTS or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Um, so it could be a lot of things. Just because you have balance issues or dizziness issues doesn't mean it's always vestibular. Um, it could be visual, proprioceptive, vestibular, a mix of the three, anemia, that, blah, 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 blah. It could be a whole bunch of other things. Um, so that's mostly to say that if you have balance and dizziness issues that haven't been solved, there's hope. Um, if you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it or you learned something new, go, get, go ahead and give this a like and give me a follow. Thank you.